I came to Australia in 2005 as a refugee, came with my family, and I have been living in Melbourne for two years, and then in the Little Valley for two years. I work with the Sudanese as an uh, Anglican minister. Well, let's see, when we first got here, people were like, oh, why are you going to Moa, you know? Because everybody had heard, you know, how it's the single mother's capital in Australia, and it's got the highest per capita of four drives in the area. But when we were here, it, it just wasn't what people perceived of it. Uh, my experience, actually, there are some good things and there are difficult things at the same time. Um, I think the first thing I noticed when they got here was that somebody had written black on a fence around and I was like, oh, okay, that's not nice. I don't want to look at that every day out there with the sander to get it off. <laughs> I know a few of my mates, um, they're kind of like against refugees and everything coming over to Australia. But, yeah, I was completely open and I think that it's great as long as they've got a safe place to stay. Here the community is very welcoming and we actually feel at home and people are very friendly. But a lot of the migrant people are actually very frustrated with um, the issue of employment. Like, a lot of people are looking for employment and they can actually get a place where they can work. Moi is a town of about 16,000 people, right in the centre of the Latrobe Valley in regional Victoria. It's home to about 500 Sudanese refugees. The town is in the marginal Victorian seat of Macmillan, where employment is a big concern. Jobs is a major thing in the valley, especially with the, the trouble with the power station. You know, is that going to be closed? Is it going to be changed to green energy? That's sort of something that's current at the moment. Um, and what's going to happen to all those jobs? Support, supporting rural business, supporting industry. Um, many rural businesses around here struggle. The seat of Macmillan is currently held by Liberal MP Russell Broadbent, who won the 2007 election with a 4.7% majority. Broadbent has publicly spoken out against his party's tough stance on asylum seekers in the past, and at this election, he's up against the ALP's Christine Maxfield, and the Greens' Malcolm McKelvey. And although not everyone in the Sudanese community can actually vote yet, their experience is a big influence on what matters most to them. I think about quality, I don't really know who is a good person. I hope it just could be the good people could just you know, take care of other people came over here, like refugees, and to have to do something new, I think. I think as and as really a citizen, someone who is going to vote, I'm thinking of like voting for someone who is caring for humanity. Like for example, there was a debate about uh, asylum seekers and all this and they have to be taken to a different country and then we have to do an assessment there and some people were saying that there's no need of us go and make a, a, a detention center in another country some of the politicians don't even understand why these people are actually troubling to Australia. Yeah, they've been through some horrific things. Um, you know, we, we, we talk about having, you know, bad weather for six months. You know, they've had wars for 20-odd uh, years, I think 64 till 72 was their first major war. Then they had another one and it's not resolved yet and I know they've got a, a significant election that's going to split the country in two those sorts of atrocities, they're, they're people. I, I wouldn't like to go through that, and if, if I had to, I'm sure I'd be leaving my country too. Uh, we're just so lucky in Australia, we don't have to. Mm.